do the oblique crunch on the BOSU. You want to start with your back on the dome side. You have, um, I'll give you four options here. So you want your back where it's resting, um, sort of right here, lumbar region is about right here. Not, it's not exactly centered on the ball, but a little bit lower because you're going to target your upper, your lower abs, and your obliques. First option is opposite knee to opposite elbow, and you alternate. So you just crunch up and go back, and you're twisting. Now you notice I'm setting my foot down in between each crunch. So I crunch up, lift my leg, twist, and touch the opposite knee with my elbow. This is your level one. Level two is the level two is going to be that same movement, except you don't rest your foot in between. So instead of alternating side to side, you're going to repeat your reps on one side before you go to the other side. So we'll start with the right leg, left left elbow to right knee. Make sure your back is supported. Extend your right leg and go into your oblique crunch and then extend your leg. So you're not resting in between. So you're going to repeat. So crunch up, elbow to knee, extend the leg without rest. Then you switch to the other side. Make sure you keep your foot elevated. with those, since you're not alternating but you're repeating, you want to do the same amount of reps or the same amount of time on each side. Level three in the oblique crunch is instead of elbow to knee, you're going to go hand to foot. So level three will be the same as level one as far as the range of motion. You're going to rest your foot in between so you'll alternate sides. So make sure your back is supported. And instead of, again, instead of knee to elbow, hand to foot. So bring that foot up, go back, rest your foot in between, and alternate to the other side. So it's a little bit more of a range of motion. I'm going to scoot up just a little bit. So since you're, you, um, Increasing your range of motion, you're able to get a better twist out of your obliques. And for level four, you'll do the same as you did in level two with the um, elbow to knee uh, by leaving your foot elevated. So you do the same amount of reps on each side. You're going to repeat and then do the same amount of reps on the other side. So get that position where your back is supported. Elevate. I'm going to start with my right leg. Twist up and crunch. Or, I'm sorry, you'll crunch up and twist. Hand to foot and then repeat. Remember not to let your foot rest in between reps. And I'll do the other side. If you need to adjust, that's fine. You just want to make sure you have a lot of back support. So extend your leg, crunch up, and twist. So those are your four options for oblique crunches on the bow suit.